Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and this is a little series we'll have today because I get a lot of questions about it and we'll answer all of that in a series of videos today that uh, will be there for anybody that wants to learn a little more about it. Uh, we're going to talk about 21H1 and the reason is that it's very, very soon to be released. Within the next few weeks, we should start having an idea of how, when it's released. So uh, it could be released, you know, in a week or just next month. But one thing for sure, it's there and it's almost available. The first question that I have a lot of people asking is what is 21H1? 21H1 is a Windows 10 update, as you know. Windows 10 has two updates a year. There used to be two major updates. Now, in the past couple of years, it's been one major update and one small update. Now, this update is going to be a small update, and it is unusual because we already had a small update in October. And, of course, that small update will up the version of Windows to a version of small increment uh, of one. So that means the build number, as you see here for 21H1, is going to be 19043. So that is one small step ahead of the October 20, uh, 20 update, which is 19042. And of course, two steps ahead of version 2004, the May 2020 update, at 19041. The reason the update number is small is because it's the same version pretty much but what happens is that some features exist in all versions that are dormant so they actually just keep them off and a small cumulative update can actually enable a uh, package or uh, something that wasn't there or was just turned off so that is the next version of Windows, and it's a quiet one for a simple reason. It's a quiet one because also uh, Windows 10 X is being worked on, and that's a different thing. A lot of people wonder what the Windows 10 X, are they going to have that? Nobody's going to have Windows 10 X if you have a regular Windows 10. It's really a separate version of Windows for specific machines that will be sold with it, and eventually maybe dual screen devices, but it's a different thing and no one will get Windows 10 X uh, on the regular Windows uh, channels. The Windows uh, 10 21H1 is also a small package that now will actually have, a, it's, they call it a feature update, a new version of Windows 10. It's not really, it's more like a service pack, like in good old days of Windows 7. And it will just, you know, bump up the number and have very few little things that we'll talk about, of course, in a separate video. So also the uh, update is a cumulative update. That means no big, you know, waiting for three hours, four hours, five hours, six hours before everything's there. Um, install. It should be fairly fast. Uh, here on this machine, which uh, has 21H1, it took possibly... 15 minutes, 20 minutes. It's a very fast machine with an SSD. In a slower, older machine, it might take an hour, an hour and a half max, but uh, overall, these updates are rather, uh, it should be quicker, much quicker than a big feature update that requires a complete reinstall of Windows. Um, why do they do this? Simply to continue the fact that they want to have two versions a year. So that's the way it is. And it's not totally zero new features. And the next video, we'll see what it brings. Uh, even though it's very, very little what it does bring. But still, if you want to know what there's in there that might be of interest, depending on the version of Windows you have, the next video, we'll talk about that. And, uh, of course, it will be available for Seekers first, which is the same way that Microsoft always works with these versions. So what it's, what's going to happen is that when it is available, Seekers will be the first one to get it. What are Seekers? Seekers are the people that just go check Windows Update manually, and that's where it's going to show up. If you don't do that, it won't show up. The update will be 
a optional update. So this will not be something forced on you. It will be there in a uh, optional download and install, which means that you'll be able to get it when you want. The only people that are going to be pushed to it is the people that are on 1909 that might actually see it and have it pushed on them because 1909 is soon to be out of service. So that means out of support, which means that uh, they're kind of starting to push you towards something else. And when this is released, this will be a possibility of what you'll get. Right now, they're pushing you to 20H2, which is the October 2020 update. Um, the other question that we'll have to do with the install is, you know, do I need to back up or do I need, it's always, always, it's, you know, backing up is not because there's a new version of Windows. Backing up is something you have to do. It's something that should be done. When I see somebody tell me, should I back up, then you don't understand what a computer is all about and how you can save your files and make sure you lose nothing. Because a backup is not because there's new versions of Windows. A backup is something you have to do. It's very important. And you might think there's nothing important on your PC, but in reality, it takes a moment of losing everything to understand that actually you had probably some stuff that you lost that you now know should have been backed up. And uh, overall, it uh, will, you know, be a, a rather fast install, like I said, as it's just a cumulative update. What's the size? Probably just a few uh, hundred megabytes, since it's really just updates. Uh, it's not as big as a huge cumul a huge feature update that has a complete reinstall, where often the, f the file size is two, three gigabytes. This should be in the several hundred megabytes only. And it's coming soon. So uh, no official date yet, but we are in April and uh, this is like, you know, any day now we could have an announcement that, okay, here it is. And uh, it will arrive on those that will be seekers first. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.